In this screencast, we're going to determine from the steam tables what the volume, enthalpy, and entropy of water is at two conditions, 120 degrees and 0.6 megapascals, and at also 120 and 20 megapascals. So if we look at the saturated steam tables, and let me bring that up, we can see that at 120 degrees, and I've highlighted just a section of steam tables here, I've highlighted in blue, 120 degrees, the saturation pressure is 0.199 megapascals. And so when we're at 0.6 megapascals, we're significantly above the saturation pressure, which means we have liquid. And so the important thing to keep in mind, if we have a liquid, we have to use the steam tables using the temperature as our criteria, not the pressure. In other words, we don't find 0.6, for example, here 0.618 megapascals and say we're going to determine the properties of our liquid at those conditions. We have to use these conditions, right? So, and the reason is that as we raise the pressure for liquid, we have very little effect on its properties. And so the volume of the liquid here, cubic meters per kilogram, the enthalpy, and the entropy. And so these values, even though they're at a lower pressure, are really quite accurate at 0.6 megapascals. And so this is a general thing to keep in mind. Changing the pressure of a liquid doesn't have a very big effect at all unless we have a really large change. So this pressure is 100 times the saturation pressure. So for these conditions, we're going to look at steam tables for compressed liquid. So here are the steam tables, pressure of 20 megapascals. At 120 degrees, the volume is within 1% of the volume at saturation condition. So pressure has a very small effect. Enthalpy is different, but the difference is, is only 14 kilojoules per kilogram out of 503.8. So this is within 3% of the value at saturation conditions. And then the entropy likewise is really quite similar. The difference is only 0 0.017 out of 1.528, the value at saturation conditions. So this is only slightly more than 1% different. So so we can indeed, even at these higher pressures, get a pretty good approximation of liquid properties from the saturated liquid table at the temperature of interest, at the temperature is the important part of this.